An important shloka where you, you the the vision of everything is Brahma, Ishvara is present. And an example of the, the karma, the Vaitika karma, yajna, is taken up. The yajna involves the, the karakas, the offerer, the offering, means of offering, and the locus of offering. So all these are the karakas. So everything is presented as Brahma. Brahma arpanam, the means of offering, that is the ladle. Brahma avihi, what is offered? That avis oblation, that is Brahma, into what it is offered? It is Agni. And for what purpose? That is also is there. The purpose that is Chaturthi Bhakti. Though it is not said, we can. The purpose of performing a ritual. So, Brahma Ivatena Gantavya. Brahma should be reached by the person who has a vision of everything is Brahma. Brahma is to not to be reached. Even though Gantavya is there, Brahma is reached by. Reaching is in terms of knowing. The Gantavyam Gamda to gum to go. Gum is displacement movement. But here is Brahma Ivatena Gantavyam is it is Aragantavyam Ityataha. Brahma is known by him. Brahma is he discovers or he knows himself to be Brahma. That is reaching. And he sees everything as Brahma. When everything is Brahma, what about him? What about oneself? Agam Brahma api. Agam Brahma. Not api. Agam Brahma. Asmi. Agam api Brahma. That is a shoka. Now let us read from here. Satyam and Mitya. So everything is Brahma. The fourth. All the Karakas are Brahma. Then where are the Karakas really? Every Karaka is Brahma. Means Brahma offers unto Brahma by means of Brahma. So everything is Brahma. And the purpose also Brahma. So there is only Brahma. What about all these different karaka? They are Mitya. That is the topic here. The Satya and Mitya of the ritual. Similarly, when a Jnani sees everything, see, sorry, when a Jnani sees anything, Brahma is not missed. So every Karaka is Brahma. That is the vision of the Jnani. Brahma Karma Samadhina. Brahma being the cause of everything. Therefore, when he sees anything, he doesn't miss the Brahma. When he sees a pot as you know it is made of clay, you see the clay. You have got clay buddhi, clay darshanam. 
ಘಟೇಟ್ ಬೃತ್ ದರ್ಶನಂ ಸಮಲ್ಲಿ ವಸ್ತು ನೀ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ದರ್ಶನಂ ಎವ್ರಿ ವಸ್ತು ಈ ಸೀಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಬೀಂಗ್ ದ ಟ್ರೂತ್ ದ ಸತ್ಯ ದ ಟ್ರೂತ್ ಆಫ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸತ್ಯಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಂಡ್ ದರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಅದರ್ ದನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ನಾಮ ರೂಪ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಅದರ್ ದನ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಅದರ್ ದನ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಓರಿಯೆಂಟೇಶನ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ವಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ದಿ ಓರಿಯೆಂಟೇಶನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಾಕ್ಷನ್ ದ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಾಕ್ಷನ್ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಐ ಎಮ್ ದ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಅದರ್ ದನ್ ಮೀ ಇಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ದ್ವೈತ ಪ್ರಪಂಚ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೈ ಅದರ್ ಅದರ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸೊ ವೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಾಕ್ಟರೇಬಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಹಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಅ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಾಕ್ಷನಲ್ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಹಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಅ ಮಿಥ್ಯ ಸ್ಟೇಟಸ್ ಸೊ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಐ ದ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಅದರ್ ಕಾರಕ ಸರ್ ದೇರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಮಿಥ್ಯ ಈವನ್ ತೋ ದೇ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಎಂಪ್ರಿಕಲ್ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ doesn't enjoy absolute reality therefore it is mithya everything is brahma that is the reality that is the the truth paramatika sat paramatika drishtya everything is brahma in vyavaharika only we have karta karma all this karakas because in vyavaharika it is a it doesn't mean they are different from brahma everything is brahma it's called transactional reality so mithya only in the transactional reality from the standpoint of the total the, the absolute everything is brahma there is no there is no jagat no karaka all the karakas resolve in in brahma therefore when we say everything this everything should be understood everything presumes that we have the perception of difference 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 so therefore the difference is mithya this means the arpana the ladle ladle is different from me i am the one who operates who handles the ladle the mantra what i chant and so on all the other karakas they are all mithya karta also mithya but the swarup of karta is brahm when all other karakas goes away then what about karta what all karta alone will do karta also resolves kartratvam so thus arpana is brahma brahma is brahma arpanam the object offered is avis clarified butter or any other thing what you offer into the agni kunda what is offered is is oblation avis that is also brahma it is offered by whom brahmana hutam the yajamana the karta yes brahm is brahma that is the person who offers the oblation is also brahma the fact known to the wise person this a wise person yani knows aham brahma iti janati sah hutam what is offered is brahma so this word refers to the act of offering brahmana hutam the action the kriya kriya is brahma the oblation avis is offered unto the fire agni the locus agni it is in the homakunda into in the locus the location in which the act of offering takes place that is brahma here to agni is nothing but brahma born of brahma and therefore not separate from brahma agni as one of the pancha mahabhuta it is born of brahma therefore it is not different from brahma therefore we see all are brahma then all the karakas are covered even though all the karakas are not mentioned but we can by few karakas few karakas are mentioned therefore it is only upalakshana all the other karakas are it is as covered therefore the karaka the first karaka the karaka meaning the factor of action factors of action karaka ni kriyanvai karaka the kriya naturally will have these factors of action karta the one who offers is brahma the second karaka karma object is brahma third karaka karanam instrument is brahma the purpose for which the it is done the purpose that takes the fourth case chaturthi bhakti in the vyakaranam that is brahma fifth karaka from where the action action comes action takes, takes place the displacement takes place that is brahma because sixth karaka generally it is possessive or genitive case therefore it doesn't relate to an action it doesn't generally represent one of the six karakas that is shashti bhakti is not a karaka it it is say but uh, it can be expressed in karaka also in grammar it is katri shashti karma shashti anyway the sixth karaka which takes a locative case the sixth karaka that is 
the last karaka, sixth karaka, which takes a locative case, that is Saptani Vibhakti. That is also here in the shloka, where Brahma Agnau unto the Agni, Agnau, Agnau Saptani Vibhakti. So all the karakas are covered. Therefore, the fire into which the offering is made is also Brahma. Everything is Brahma. It's called Karaka Upamardhanam. All the Karakas are resolved into, into Satyam Brahma. Uh, what about the Surupa of this Karaka, nature of the Karaka? They are Mithya. They enjoy transactional reality, Vyavaharika reality. From the standpoint of Brahma, everything is Brahma alone. From the standpoint of the Paramatika Drishti, Paramatika Drishti, everything is Brahma. Performing a ritual as a doer. If a person performs a ritual for the sake of heaven, Svargaloka Praptyartam, he performs a ritual, a karma. He or she is a karta. He is a hejamana. He, since he, is, he, he wants to go to Svargaloka, therefore he performs a karma, therefore he is a karta. He must be a karta. Otherwise, for whom, for whom he does a karma? He is performing karma for going to Svargaloka. He wants to go to Svargaloka, therefore he is a karta. Kartartam. Is there therefore karta, akam karta, karma karomi? Because I am a karta, I want to go to heaven, and this heaven is separate from me because I want to go heaven. I want to go to heaven. It is heaven is away, it is achieved by travel. You have to travel after death, maranam. There you go and assume a different sharira and enjoy the pleasures of the Sarga Loka. So it involves travel. So heaven is there. I want to I want to go to heaven. So therefore, heaven is separate from me. Therefore, if I do this particular karma, the karma which is which is recommended, which is recommended by the Veda, the, the, the karta will go to Sudha Loka. The karma pala will be punya, and the punya will be, and this punya I can later encash for a ticket to heaven. So punya will be there in your record because you are the karta, therefore karma pala will be with you, and, and that can be encash for going to heaven later. Later means after maranam. With this body, you cannot go to heaven, therefore, after Varanam. This is the meaning of a ritual. If I am a karta, this is the meaning of a ritual if I am a karta. Whereas if I am, no, I am that Brahma. That is altogether different. That is completely different. If I am the karta, then all the other karakas are present. But if I am Brahma, then that is completely, that is vision, that, that vision is completely different from Completely altogether different. That is what here the shloka says here. Here, the shloka doesn't present the different karakas through the uh, through the yajna. The yajna as, a, as a, an example taken, and the vision of the, the vision of the the, the the satyam, the truth is presented. Brahma is everything, including heaven. So heaven also, it is Brahma. You cannot be away from Brahma. It doesn't enjoy separate reality. It is Brahma. Everything, all, everything, everything is everything. Anything you say, it is Brahma alone. So, even also Brahma. Ella also Brahma. Naraka. Surga, Naraka, all the Chatur, uh, this 14 Lokas. We have got 14 Lokas are there. Chatur, Dasha, Lokaha. Bhuhu, Bhuvaha, Suvaha. Maha, Janaha, Tapaha, Satyam, Iti, Savan, Nayar Lokas, Anatala, Vitala, Sutala, Rasatala, Mahatala, Patala, Iti, Savan, Lower Lokas. Everything is Brahma. So, where everything is Brahma, this being the case, what is to be gained by the person of knowledge? Perform, the person who doesn't know everything is Brahma, at least by performing karma, he goes to Surga Loka, which is different from him. But this person has the vision of everything Brahma. What is what does he gain? What is to be gained by the person of, of knowledge? Brahma alone is to be gained by this person. Everything is Brahma, then Brahma alone is to be gained by this person. Brahma Ivatenakantavyam. That is to say, nothing is to be gained. That is the idea. Nothing to be gained. Because he has gained that which that to be gained. He has achieved that is to be achieved. Is Kritakrityaha. There's nothing left for him to for him to do. So no karma left to be done for that person. There's nothing to be gained. He's Purnaha Ittartaya. He has discovered the, the fullness. So Aham Purnaha, Purnamadha, Purnamidam. The meaning is very clear for this person. So nothing to be gained by the person because jnani is 
Brahma. So Brahma eva gantavyam. Gantavyam means that which is to be reached. Literal meaning is gantavyam. Or that is to be accomplished. Because a person is already Brahma, what is to be gained? There is nothing to be gained. So everything is being Brahma, there is nothing away from Brahma. If you say Surgaloka, Surgaloka is Brahma, that is myself. Adoloka, Patala, that is also Brahma, myself. Any Loka, anything you say, it is myself, Brahma alone. Therefore, nothing to be gained. That is not Brahma. Everything is Brahma. Therefore, what is that to be gained? Other than Brahma, nothing is there. Therefore, but while this indeed, uh, this may indeed be a fact, but one has to know the fact. Otherwise, the person becomes, is a person is a karta only. So this is to be known. Then only, nothing to be gained. Otherwise, the person is a karta. Ahankara is there, therefore becomes a karta. If this, if this vision is not there, then he is an ajnani, ajnani, karta eva. Karta is ajnani. And looking at everything in ritual as Brahma becomes a form of meditation, upasana. The person knows and therefore everything he sees as Brahma, therefore it can be as upasana also. It could be a vision of this person, this jnani, or it can be a form of meditation. You can visualize everything as Brahma. It's a upasana. Wherever you deliberately superimpose something exalted and something ordinary, that is upasana. Upasana is Atasmin Tad Buddhi. Shalagrame Vishnu Aropanam. Linge Shiva Aropanam. Linga is a, you invoke Lord Shiva in that. It's a stone, Linga. But it is, once you, once you invoke Shiva, Maheshwara in that, it's not a stone. It becomes Shiva Linga. It is, it deserves to be worshipped. It is auspicious. Similarly, Salagrama. Salagrama is just a stone. But once you invoke Vishnu, it becomes an object of worship. That is, that is, that is the superimposition is done deliberately. Deliberate superimposition. Guru Puja also. Guru Puja, Guru Pada Puja, everything. Deliberate superimposition. Therefore, it becomes Upasana. Just as you deliberately superimpose United States on a piece of cloth with so many stars and stripes. This is with regard to every country, not only states. If, if the flag is uh, dishonored, it is not that the piece of cloth is dishonored. The, the country is dishonored. Subject, therefore, the person is subject to the law and punishment. So, the country is superimposed on the flag. Similarly, superimposition, deliberate superimposition. Superimposition need not be deliberate always. Like when you mistake an object for something else, that is also possible. That is, that is, not, so not, that is also not possible. That is what we are in samsara. Samsara... There is no deliberate superimposition. There is then some superimposition. It is it is natural. That is why Shastra uses this method of superimposition, Adhyaropa and Apavada, the method. Adhyaropa superimposition, Apavada T superimposition. We superimpose. We superimpose. We that the Swarupa of of the Swarupa of Swarupa of, of the Jiva is Brahma, but. On that, it is superimposed. Superimposed is anatma. Whatever the attributes of anatma, they are superimposed. Anatma and atma is which is chaitanyam. The chaitanyatam is superimposed on the sharira. That is a superimposition. That's why we have sharirmana. That's abhimana. That is a superimposition. Abhimana with the sharira. Identification with this body, mind, sense complex. It is not deliberately done. It is mistaken. By mistake, it is done. It's an error committed. So, therefore, it, like you, when you mistake an object for something else, without any deliberation, you may superimpose a snake on a piece of rope, for example. That is a famous example. That is a mistake. What is there is only a rope. Rajo Sarpapuddhi, but you see a snake on the rope. And the conditions are also very conducive, a dark, a semi darkness, not completely dark, not completely. It is uh, light also there. So, it is semi darkness. The, the conditions are conducive enough to co enough to commit a mistake. Therefore, superimposing a snake on a raju, the rope. To take a wooden or a stone statue of Vishnu from the Lord, therefore it is not a mistake. Unless, of course, you take the given form alone as Vishnu, that is Upasana. So, the statue of Vishnu is there or, a, or a, just a stone. You superimpose deliberately. That is deliberately done. And you do 
upasa that, that deliberately since it deliberately then that then that stone or the shalagrama becomes an object of upasana it is revered it is worshipable that is called upasana so upasana is deliberate superimposition ajnanam is it is naturally natural superimposed superimposition ajnanam samsara is natural superimposition so upasana is deliberate superimposition upasana is for chitta naishchalyam upasana also as a means for as karma yoga upasana they are the they are the preliminary steps they are the preparation for jnanam therefore here next one therefore what is here is only knowledge knowledge alone is involved here i think we'll okay, i think we'll stop here we'll see tomorrow om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vashishyate om shanti 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 hari om shri gurupyo hari om धन्यवाद